hello guys so today's topic i'm going to cover in a c sharp uh, how to use a try catch and finally block we know that there is a essential uh, stop in c sharp is try uh, catch and uh, finally block so uh, which you uh, must use uh, everywhere to capture your exception or uh, to internally if i have to do so uh, let me go and uh, create a block uh, simple uh, block in my action called uh, like try okay catch in the catch up i ask to catch the exception so this is the block on the uh, final so finally okay so this is the block try catch and finally so i will uh, let me go and explain this is my uh, uh master method once i hit this method i ask to to try this one if any exception found it will come to the catch block and it will lock the error and finally it will uh, do whatever the action that i uh, default if uh, irrespective of uh, exception to uh, return it will write here so okay i just go on the uh, initially do that i equal to 0 and i uh, just uh, add one view data i create on view data okay my data i'm telling here success okay once i here what i going to do i going to trace my exception dot exception message i am passing here and finally what i am going to ex uh, do is view data final i'm just telling that it's a hitter test action okay this i going to do in my final action mm, okay now uh, we have a positive scenarios let let me go and uh, keep the breakpoint here and i just uh, run the application I directly go and hit my action home slash uh, test. Okay, my breakpoint hit. I just move my breakpoint. Let's go and try it. Yeah, I equal to zero. So we data added. So now there is no exception here. So it's uh, go to the finally. We added finally. Okay. fine so uh, okay uh, before that i just want to execute this or uh, i just want to add uh, to the view i go on the my test i just ask uh, to the to display this finally okay here i just add one more okay okay fine so first uh, level uh, whatever uh, the data i executed uh, that message i showing here and finally what the action is written so okay again i just refresh the page so same things will execute i just uh, give continue okay 
it's a success now and it's heated the test action okay now what i going to do i going to do something uh, to make uh, some exception uh, so here what i going to do is okay so now i want to do some different scenario i just uh, replace this with uh, this i have one string called test i added here i just uh, trying to convert and pass to the integer anyway sh and now uh, definitely this will not works because this is not a uh, string value that uh, to be converted to int so definitely it will throw the exception so now uh, we'll see how the exception is occur how we are hatch catching that so again i go and uh, rerun the application okay i have a method already so i just go and hit that yeah my breakpoint is seated i just to keep it in yeah now i got a exception okay what is my exception it will uh, input string was not an correct format okay so now it's added in my view data and finally also it's written so that exception message it's added yes input string was not a correct format and it's heated to the test action so now we catch the error and we stored it in a view data here you can use a logger to log in your database and you can cap ca capture what is the things so this is uh, uh, one helpful stuffs uh, to implement and uh, use it in all over the method to capture this runtime error so mm, fine and uh, uh, this stuffs uh, you can uh, capture the multiple exceptions by implementing the multiple ca caption with the different uh, mm, params uh, with the different exception like web exceptions sql exceptions so we can uh, define the exact exception and you can capture by implementing the multiple uh, mm, params parameters so thanks for watching the video guys if you have any uh, doubt feel free to comment us or if you have any better solutions or uh, better uh, thoughts in this uh, video please share with us